Ten reportaż powstał dzięki wsparciu moich patronek i patronów, za co bardzo dziękuję. Będę wdzięczny za każde polubienie, subskrypcję czy komentarz. You think you will be dead in a bush? Yes. I was hopeless. Sometimes you can meet good people, sometimes you can meet bad people. My country, we were in war for 11 years. Still time, it's danger. What happens to your free friends? Who beat you? What do you dream about? I want to become a superstar, a football superstar. Lipiec na Podlasiu przyniósł zmiany. Po dziewięciu miesiącach od wprowadzenia przez rząd strefy objętej zakazem przebywania. Mieszkańcy mogli w końcu przywitać turystów, zobaczyć się ze znajomymi i porozmawiać z nimi patrząc sobie prosto w oczy. Bardzo się cieszymy, że przyjechaliście do nas po miesiącach patostrefy i tego, że byliśmy cali zamknięci po prostu w jakimś koszmarnym, w ogóle nie wiadomo czym, a my jesteśmy po to, żeby łączyć i być ponad tego, tym, co jest teraz na świecie, ponad, tym, ponad kolorem skóry, ponad narodowością, ponad wyznaniem, ponad tego, kto, kogo lubi, kogo kocha. Wszyscy macie tutaj miejsce i cieszymy się, że jesteście z nami, niezależnie jacy. Festiwal muzyki folkowej w Czeremsze przyciągnął ludzi z całego świata, którzy mogli się przekonać, jaki jest efekt kryzysu humanitarnego na pograniczu polsko-białoruskim i czym kończy się przepychanie ludzi przez granicę gdzieś w ciemnym lesie, bez świadków, bez współczucia i bez prawa. Dzień przed rozpoczęciem festiwalu z lasu wyszedł człowiek. Poprosił miejscowych o wodę i o jedzenie. Nie chciał zbyt wiele o sobie mówić. Po przespanej nocy zgodził się na rozmowę, ale bez pokazywania swojej twarzy. Wtedy jeszcze nie wiedziałem, jaką historię za moment usłyszę. My name is Medvin Jamil Baikama. I decided to make my way to the bush to find I was sleeping, just like, I was sleeping in the ground. I've never experienced bush in my life. This one is like, the first time I see what is the bush or forest. 
to where he danger was so out there. To where he danger was people. I don't, I don't want someone to to be in the bush. Yeah, I saw so many animals. So many animals. I saw free tambo, so many free tambos. Wolves? Free tambo is the one that ah, have mm -hmm. one yes. free tambo. Yes. I saw snake. I saw the, the thing was so difficult for me. I so it was mosquito. Thousands of mosquito. And you you was traveled two weeks in a bush. Two weeks I was in I was with four guys, but I don't see them again because we this part. We lost. I don't see them again, so I decided to take the journey alone. I, and you was alone in the bush? I was alone. For how many days? For seven days I was alone. Seven days. Things were so difficult for me. I thought I was going to lose my life. Two days without eating, no drinking water. I was hopeless. I don't know what to do. The place is so so big, so you, don't, you can't know the world unless God help you to to see where you are going to because there there is no connection, no access to anything. Where are you from? I'm from Sierra Leone. What's happened in your country? My country, we were in war for 11 years. Some people, we will play football, go to school, do some jobs. But you know, in Africa, it's not like in Europe. We are in people find provision for the young ones so that they can able to help. You can say, but in Africa, as for me, I lost my dad 2019 December. He felt sick. It was unfortunate for him to make it. So he died the 27th of April. So from then, I was really, really suffering. But my mother helped me to, with my uncle who was staying in Ukraine. He called me to find a better way. But unfortunately, we break up. So I decided to travel. So I have my uncle who is living in Ukraine. He called me to be there to stay with him. So I was there for six months and this war start happening. So I even don't see my uncle. I don't know where he is now. Maybe I don't know the status of him right now because since then I lost communication with, with him. Only yesterday I tried to find a way to talk to my mother. She was so happy for me. She was really praying for me. She thought that I'm, I've died. Some people ask, family ask. Yesterday I called her. She was so surprised. She said, hey, you think that I just have lost my life because of people are seeing different things about people suffering more. I mean, my color. Some people discriminate. When you go somewhere for help, they can't not help you.
people on Belarus or on Polish side, what they did to you? How they treat you? It was really beat me. Who beat you? Some of the, 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 the I don't know the difference between the Pol Poland and I don't know the difference between the Poland and the, because I never knew about them. It's my first time. Slap me. Where he slaps you? In, in my, you can see my jaw. I mark, you can see everything. Why they beat you? They started to ask me because I told them to ask I'm from Ukraine. Why, where you come from? Why you came? I said, I don't know how. I need help. Please, can you help me? He confirmed, he started to slap me a bit. Some other soldier was so good, he gave me water to drink, he saved my situation, he said, go so. He said, go run. So I started to run again. I said, hey, can you help me please? I want, I'm, I'm here, lady. please help me. So there are some soldiers over there, they are not, they are all, all they, are, they are not the same. Some, some soldiers have good hearts, some soldiers, if they see you, they can give you water. Say go this way. Some soldiers. Yes, yeah, some. Some soldiers. They try to help you. They try to help some. Polish. I don't know the different Polish or Bel. I don't know the. I don't know Belarus or. Sometimes you can meet good people. Sometimes you can meet bad people. And I was thinking my color. I, I said this. My color is not. It's not from. It's not me. It's God. I'm a black man, but I. I'm not a bad person. Please, can you help me? They just drove me away. They said, go, find a way. They don't care, maybe. I should have lost my life in the bush, but God, thank God, I made my heart my way through. But it's, it's, it's really painful for me. It's really, really painful for me. Sometimes I remember, I can't believe I make it out. I never can believe. I swear to God, things is very difficult. Was there? Nie wszyscy mieli tyle szczęścia, co mój rozmówca. Kryzys humanitarny na pograniczu polsko-białoruskim pochłonął wiele ofiar. Ile? Tego najpewniej nigdy się nie dowiemy. Ludzie umierali i umierają w lasach, na trudno dostępnych bagnach, czy toną w rzekach. Po wielu zaginął słuch. Według danych Grupy Granica nadal poszukiwanych jest około 200 osób. Find a way. They don't care. Maybe I should have lost my life in the bush. But God, thank God, I made my heart my way through. But it's, it's it's really painful for me. It's really really painful for me. Sometimes I remember I can't believe I make it out. I never can believe. I swear to God, things is very difficult. Was there? You think you will be dead in a bush? Yes, I think that because I was hopeless. No, no possibility that I think that I will be out or I see people like you or I see anything or I will eat today. I don't feel that today will be the day I will eat. I was just praying, hey, God help me. I don't know what to do. I suffered in Ukraine, I suffered again just to find my way out, to live life. Did you was before in Poland in Bush and somebody push you back to Belarus from Poland before? Yeah, they, they tried to push me back to Belarus inside, but I don't know the place. And How many times? It's two times. I don't know the place. I lost. I don't know the place. So just the place. The place is too it's, it's too difficult because I don't know the how. I've never been this. Did forest. you have some localization on your phone when you were before when you was before? I, I localization my call my phone was not operating good, so I don't have, I don't remember some of this place. What happens to your three friends? So when we we are together, we see so many Polish people chasing with dogs. One of them, the dog bites him in his foot, was starting to run. Polish out. dog. I think it's Polish dog. I think that. But it was a night. I can't remember. I, I can't see the uniform. They are pointed lights. So let's go this way. So we start to run dogs, chasing. So the other one was biting, was slap. I heard the noise from the other. Who was biting? Hit me, my foot, my foot. That man is from 
He was living in UK. He, he, he's a Gambian. He's a good friend of mine. I don't know where he is now. I'm thinking about his status. Because when the police push us at night, we scattered. You can see my mouth. I damage here. You can see my face. But the bush is too thick and difficult. You cannot know your way. You go this way, you can go to meet another way, go this way. Well, a lot of things happen, a lot of things happen in the bush. People suffering, see people dying over there. People lost their way because of no food. Things. I don't see dead people, but I see something simple like people are losing their life over there. I see shoe, crepe, I even see so many things. How many people in the forest? How do you think? Because the place is too big. I can't, I can't, I can't tell you this 10 or 20 or 50 people in the forest. But I'm sure there are so many people, a lot of people. Even on, it's not only black, Ukraine, white people are there fighting for a shot, finding their, their life so that they can have a safety life. People are suffering, not even the black. People are suffering so much, so much, Mr. Peter. People are suffering. What you did in your country for a living? I play football. I'm a football. I play football. Now you can see my body everywhere is mosquito bites. I was exposed to cold. Even I'm not I'm not feeling bright. But I thank God I, my life is safe. But now I'm I really need malaria medicine, pain, cold. So my system, my body system is not okay. I can eat a little bit, but I'm not feeling good. What do you dream about? I want to become a superstar, a football superstar play football, help people, because I see people suffer, Mr. Peter. I want to be a humanitarian is where I can help people to solve, to, to solve their life, can give help to the poor people who need help. That's my dream. I want to help the people. I want to help. I want to play for Barcelona. I want to play for Barcelona. Manchester United as well. And Chelsea. That's my dream. But I want to help people, people suffered. I see, I suffered a lot. I see, I, I experienced my worst life since I have grew up in my life. I experienced worst life, Mr. Peter. I really suffered in my bush. You come to the town and you walk between people. Nobody stops you. Yeah, because I was looking for help, so I need I need to walk because I'm not a criminal. I'm I never I, I'm, I'm not a thief. So when someone see me, you can help me because if I explain, I tell my you can see. So I met one white man in the village. I explained to him. It's okay. He directed me to come this way from there. I will ask for water and drink from then I will find my way out to Warsaw to find help when I make my way to Belgium. You know still time it's danger because if something happened, some Polish services can you push back to Belarus again? I never know because I'm not from Belarus. So if they push me in that place, just like they want me to go and die because how can I go to a place I never know? I don't know people there, I don't know how to speak their language. So if I go there, if they push me back, just like they want me to die. I'm finished. Ah, uh, it can be just like I would rather prefer them to kill me. Because if I go in there, just like I'm gonna suffer and die. 
Gdyby Melvin wpadł w ręce Straży Granicznej, czekałaby go kolejna wywózka na Białoruś, której mógłby nie przeżyć. Niebezpieczeństwo groziło mu w każdym momencie, nawet w trakcie tego wywiadu. Ten wywiad nie mógł ukazać się do momentu, w którym Melvin będzie bezpieczny. Dzięki wielu dobrym ludziom, którzy go ratowali, teraz nic mu nie grozi. Jest w Belgii, gdzie złożył wniosek o azyl. Na odpowiedź czeka w otwartym ośrodku dla cudzoziemców. Rozmowa, którą z nim przeprowadziłem, dla belgijskich urzędników będzie dowodem na to, że Melvin był na pograniczu polsko-białoruskim, gdzie ledwo uszedł z życiem. W Belgii codziennie trenuje piłkę nożną. Trafił nawet do klubu, w którym grają uchodźcy. Ma szansę spełnić swoje marzenia o grze w Barcelonie. Wszystko zależy od niego. Dziękuję tym, którzy wyciągnęli pomocną dłoń do chłopaka z Sierra Leone i nie pozwolili mu umrzeć w polskim lesie.